What is up guys, it's Gushy Gaming here, and I'm here to bring you episode, I believe, number 3 of my, er, no, it's gotta be 4 of my UMass Minutemen Dynasty, and today we are playing Kansas State in Kansas State, so, um, definitely a game that would be really nice to win, but do I think we are, do I think we're gonna win? No. Uh, I don't think anyone thinks we're gonna win, to be honest, but, um, I, yeah, we're averaging 314 rushing yards per game. I mean, that's how much we're allowing, and 156 passing yards. So that's, well, that's like, that's 460 yards a game that we're giving up. That's that's gotta change really fast. And um, Minutemen, we suck tails, and it turns out to be heads, and that's about basically sums up what's gonna happen this whole game. Nothing really goes our way, not really expected, but um. See Mike Wegson coming out. He had a decent game yesterday. Well, not yesterday, last week. But here comes Lorenzo Woodley getting a pretty decent gain on the first play. But Wegson coming back and he finds DJ Woods. I don't know how he caught that ball, but it seems every other time I throw at him, he drops the ball. So Wegson slides in there. And in real life, DJ Woods, I didn't think it was that bad. But um, here we go. Read option again. Guy misses his tackle and we get eight yards out of it. So not a bad play at all. We'll take it. And then here comes Wagsen again, handing it or er, keeping it for himself. And will he score? No, he will not. He'll be tripped up. And he'll make it to the two yard line. But it doesn't matter because Lorenzo Woodley's going to punch it. Nope, he'll get stuffed. Got horse collared right there, but it doesn't matter because here he punches it in. Sorry for the spoiler. But um Uh that basically this is a seven nothing lead, something no one really expected us to have, a lead. Yes, L-E-A-D, lead. We have a lead in this game somehow. Um, so here comes the studio update. LSU beating Kent State. I don't even know why that's surprising and why that's even a studio update. But um, here comes Thompson. I don't know his first name. So, uh, but look at this. He only, if he could, if he would have kept going to the left, he probably could have broken that one for maybe not all the way because the speed was pretty down but here comes Robinson and hey maybe the first play we're not scoring letting a, a touchdown so that's two weeks in a row where we have not allowed a touchdown in the first play of the game it's definitely an improvement from the first week um, <laughs> clearly um, here comes uh, John Hubbard oh my god I nothing really special about that play but that's his first run keep your eye on him but here comes Daniel Sams getting the first down and some uh, it's an 11-yard rush, and now they're really threatening. And look at Hubbard here, and look at Saintville. Like, what? What the heck was that? Like, really? That's that's the best you're gonna do? Like, if I'm coming out here and like that, that's what's gonna happen. Why? Why do I even try against teams like this? But they will get the extra point, and that'll knock things up at seven. And uh, Dudley Giles, TDG, Trey Dudley Giles. That's what I'm gonna call him. And that always happens. I always try to bounce it to the outside on kickoff returns. It never works, but I just can It's like some weird addiction, I think. I don't know. It's really weird. But there you see, we're getting a fourth one. And I really hate going for it. Just I just don't like going for it. It's not realistic or anything. It just. But I had to here. I like. I mean, we're going up against the 16th best team in the nation. I mean, we need every chance we can get, but there, after that play, we go three and out, and then look at that. Uh, Randall Jett barely, barely saves the touchdown. But it doesn't matter because Hubbard will get stuffed, and then Hubbard will punch it in. I don't know why I showed that play of him getting stuffed. There's nothing really cool about it. But, um, that's probably one of the few times we stopped Hubbard for not a game of 16 yards today, but, um,. Here comes TDG with the kickoff return, and uh, Wegzen will run the read option, and he'll get stuffed, and that'll basically do it for that drive, and we will go for it, actually, very dumb call here, I, I don't know what I was thinking right now, um, here comes Wegzen though, as he finds Davis, but Davis cannot hang on to it. I can't blame him because he was kind of getting hit on that play. But look at this! What the heck? What just happened? Like I don't, I don't, I don't even. I, I give up. At the, the, this point, I just give up. I mean, this game just doesn't want me to win. And see, I have that weird thing where I try to bounce it outside again. And I think I'm pretty sure I'm doing this all the way up to like 
week 10. I'm, I'm still doing it, and then I finally realize it. And I, I think I stopped at, like, week 10, but uh, I really hope we uh, start performing like an actual team as we go 3-0. and out. And Hubbard barely getting stopped up again by Dudley Giles. And, um... Yeah, it's, this has been really rough so far, and look at the pitch to Hubbard, who will get the first down, and then some. And what the, I really hate that mascot. Like, like that thing, like, in all of NCAA football, even in real life, I just cannot stand that mascot, as Hubbard just takes it 19 yards to the house. But, like, back to the mascot, I just don't like that mascot, it just looks so stupid to me. It... I don't know. It's just something about the mascot. But here they go, taking a 21-point lead on us. And clearly, this is not our day. So, um, it's kind of reminded me of the Wisconsin game. But it's probably even worse, to be honest. Um, Tajay Sharp here with the return. No blocking. As we do that thing where he bounces to the outside. And hey, it actually got us past the 20-yard line this time. But we will end up punting it, but it's a fake, and Matt Carini will get 8 yards on the play, and a first down and 10. But um, here comes Weggs in, who finds Bernard Davis to the 40-yard line, and Bernard Davis will fumble. So, um, yeah, but they are going to review that, and they're going to say his knee was down at before the ball came out so we will get that ball back and Weggs in dropping back this time and he makes sure it doesn't matter because he throws a pick so right when we get the ball back Weggs in says you know what I don't care uh, that it's, they deserve the ball and I will give it to them and he throws just a beautiful interception right there at halftime that they don't even care. They're not even excited. They, they just th look at us as a pushover. But, you know, I want to challenge them maybe in year three or something. Because there will be no NCAA 15. So I'm going to run this. Like, that's bad. I, I don't agree. I, I want an NCAA 15. But if anything good comes out of it, as you see us getting the stop there, if anything good does come out of that, at least I can run the series for, like, five years or something. Because that'd be cool. Like, keep building on the same team instead of starting a new one on a new game. But here we go. Wegs in dropping back, and he finds Wilson on the screen. First and ten. He'll get still on his feet somehow. Pulling to John Hubbard there. And uh, here comes Wegs in again, looking on the screen again. And Wilson's going to get some blocks, but he gets hung up a little bit on his blocker. And it is just enough for him not to punch it in for six. And um, look at the replay here. I just really like that play. And here we go, selecting the... I don't even know what I picked right now. I think it helped the fullback dive, I think. Handing off to Matt Carini, who gets shut up at the line of scrimmage. Oh, my God. Like, I, we have the worst goal line defense and the worst goal line offense. Like, it is just unbelievable. Like, we cannot stop anybody anywhere. I mean, we cannot score once we're on the goal line, and we cannot stop a team from scoring when they're on the goal line. But here comes Mike Weggs in one-yard touchdown run. Like, I mean, unless it's like that. We have no power on this team. No strength, I should say. Um, here comes Lockett doing a little dance back there. I don't know what that was about, but hey, we stop him at about the 19, 20-yard line. And uh, there's your coach right there. And um, saying we have a lockdown defense, but I um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that lockdown all the way. Maybe, maybe. Oh my god, that stupid mascot again. It's really getting on my nerves. Daniel Sams has thrown five passes. He's completed all five of them, but there he... Mike Wagsen finds Tajay Sharp, and then check this play out. Mike Wagsen again finds Tajay Sharp. 24 yards on the play. And sets us up with a first and goal, and Wagsen... Will send uh, Ricardo Miller in motion and hands off to Jamal Wilson. One yard touchdown run. And I am running a 4-3 uh, defense right here, as you guys can tell. But Sam's just completely... Oh my god. Sexton... Why? Uh, uh, I... Wordless right now. Can't even under... I, I can't even begin to comprehend what just happened. 70 yards. And no one even bothered. And hey, this was becoming sort of a close game. And then, well, not really. But, I mean, it's close. It was, at one point, it was not a blow-up. Um, but then, uh, Wegsen happens to find Zimmerman. 
uh, not really the guy we were looking for. And then as if things could get any worse, John Hubbard will run it in for yet another. That's about their third long touchdown run. 77 yards. Every time they get bigger and bigger and bigger. But, um... Yeah, here comes Weggs in again, and he fa finds Barnett. Wow. You know, I think Weggs in is under the impression that the more he completes it to the other team, his completion percentage will grow up. But, um, yeah, that's really it for this video. And I am out, and I will see you later after the stats. Uh, next episode, so I'm out. Peace.